Hello and welcome back. I'm here just outside of Rosa Kema. I'm riding today Jabal Al Jais Mountain. Uh, it's a beautiful day. We have what, uh, 34, 35 degrees. Um, don't expect a lot of greenery, you will not find. Uh, Jabal Al Jais is um, part of the Haja mountain range, which uh, stretches the whole peninsula. Uh, starting from Musanda, Oman, uh, through the United Arab Emirates, where it came uh, uh, over to Alain, and then uh, into Oman again. So, but uh, let's find a nice place. I'll tell you a bit more about it, and uh, we go right into it. Hello, I'm Nikolai. Welcome to Spoke Wanderer. Let's roll. in the back I assume this is Jebel Ajais but uh, let's go a bit closer I hope you see you can see this nice there's all these rock formations and all road condition is perfect still down here you have to be a bit cautious, uh, it can be still sand and uh, on the street and it's quite slippery then and uh, so we all don't have to do it, uh, very nice. all this because once it's raining uh, water is brutal here in this area and uh, so uh, there was just a flood in Fujera see here there's uh, dust and this can be quite slippery because trucks are taking out the things from the ground so from here onwards going up it's a two-lane road. And there we go. arrows 
they uh, show you in which direction you turn. <laughs> First thing, never seen. This is quite unique, I think. We have now one to the left. You can see this platform up there. So this is a zip line, uh, just going above us. Uh, this is, uh, I think, uh, definitely here in this area in the Middle East, the highest zip line uh, that you can find. Now, I'm not sure if it is the highest in the world. So I'm gonna find this out for you. But this road is absolutely gorgeous. It's about what 21 kilometers all the way. It's uh, I think 60 if I'm not mistaken, 65. Today is Thursday, so there's not many people here, so it's rather quiet. Uh, if you come Friday, Saturday and Sunday, it's quite busy. Now they done not try max missions. <coughs> In this climate, uh, they're performing quite well. Uh, the benefit is they are a bit harder in uh, the rubber compound than other tires so so far no issue at all next week i try to get a little bit off-road uh, wadi riding and test the tires uh, in these conditions uh, no i'm not gonna do sand riding uh, because Honestly speaking, there I just uh, missed the knowledge. Uh, you should really see this view from here when you're driving. Now, we can't go all the way up because there's a barrier and uh, only uh, uh, vehicles which are allowed to go can go there so the next stop is the viewpoint <coughs> and the final stop here is a viewpoint where we're gonna stop and I show you a bit around Right. If there is someone, but there is nobody, then ah.
So as mentioned, I'm uh, Jebel Jais, uh, just uh, outside of Rasachema. Uh, we are here exactly on 1,235 meters, and uh, well, I know this because it's mentioned here. Now I hope you can see this nicely from down there I came it's like about 12 o'clock now but this is the road windy road from all the way down there Very cool. and you I don't know if you see that maybe we can zoom there that's the zip line and there is just one shooting down here he's just hanging in this line and shooting down into the valley very cool now the last time i've been here was i think in 2016 or 2017 i can't remember exactly now all this uh, was not existing at that time i mean the road yes and i think it was just till up here if I'm not mistaken but not any further so there was construction going on uh, but yeah this is just all new uh, I hear it's it was open in 2018 and uh, it's quite nice Down there is port and uh, the sea. It's just uh, outside of Rasakema towards Muzandam and the Oman Peninsula. Now, what they made quite nice uh, is it's really inviting for families uh, coming here to the weekend. Temperature is a bit lower than down in, uh, on sea level or in the desert. Air is not bad. Uh, there's a restaurant, there's rest area, the kids play area. So everything actually what you need.
little ride up to Jebel Al Jais and back. Uh, you liked all the information, so I'll sit down in the description. Now I show you a little bit the way home. We film a little bit in Ashman, then I show you my uh, the place to stay for my baby. So this is now on the 611, just outside of Rasakema, uh, towards uh, Ashman, Georgia, Dubai. And here on this side you have the mountains going in the back. Very nice. Now wherever the, they have a green, uh, they most likely put the fence around so nobody is destroying it and, and it can grow. Same in the desert, uh, there are so many areas where there is green growing natural one. Uh, they fence it in and uh, nobody should go there. So now here on this road not much to see. Uh, I'll be back once we reach Ajman. So now we are entering Ajman. This is uh, Hamidiya area if I'm not mistaken. Uh, loads of villas, loads of uh, local people living here. Very nice uh, area indeed. Now this is like a street food drive through the whole area. Now you, if you come here on the weekend it's crazy busy. So they just love the street food and fast food. Another good thing here in Ashman uh, are the traffic lights. Uh, this is a very good thing, these traffic lights. Because it shows you exactly the time of how long you have to wait at the traffic light. And uh, yeah, people are not necessarily switching off the engine, but yeah, it is what it is. That's police. So I just reached uh, home safe and sound. I uh, want to show you uh, the living room for my bike. Nice wallpaper. No, I didn't make that. This was already there. Uh, some rubber underneath. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave me down definitely a comment. Uh, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. And I see you soon uh, with the uh, review about uh, the tires, about the Dunlop Trial Max missions. Now I have what, uh, 12,000 kilometers down. Uh, I gathered some data and this I'm gonna share with you in the next video. So stay tuned for that and uh, yeah, see you soon. I'm Nikolai, you spoke wonder. Ciao for now.